Hey folks, Ian Ropsling with Fishing Experiment. Today we are going to try and fish with some shrimp in the Otter River. I also have some hot dogs that have been soaking in jello. And we're going to try and catch some catfish today. We're going to see what happens. I've never had much luck with catfish. Maybe we'll catch something else too. Who knows? But let's give it a go. Let's start off with the shrimp and let's see what happens. Well folks, as I was really in my bait uh, to check to position again, I'm catching this smallmouth bass on shrimp. So uh, here you go folks. Shrimp works for smallmouth. That's not the target species for the day, but I'll take it. Smallmouth are always gorgeous to catch. Like I said, we're always trying for catfish. Let's get a quick little release here on this guy. There he goes. Nice. I was totally just reeling that in super quick. And then uh, just came over and just hammered it. So maybe I should take a different approach here, folks, uh, other than using the uh, bottom fishing here for catfish. Maybe if I use a little bit of a, uh, a floating approach, maybe it might be a good idea. We're using the shrimp. So I'm going to try a little bit more on the bottom, give me 10, 20 minutes, maybe something like that. And then maybe we'll try a bobber after that to see how well we do on that. So folks, I turned it up a little bit here. I put uh, a second hook on the line and I put it put a float on there and we're just going to see if this how this works. Uh, I've never used hot dogs on a float. Doesn't mean you can't catch something on it. But uh, I put, have, basically I have two baits on there right now. I have, a, I have the shrimp and I have the hot dog right now. So we're going to see what happens here. I'm going to let it float back to me a little bit and uh, maybe we'll catch another bass doing that with the shrimp which, or the hot dog for that matter, which would be kind of funny. So we'll give that a go for a little bit and they're going to switch spots to a deeper spot because this, this spot right here is pretty shallow so we're going to see how this works out for us. Oh, got one folks. I don't know what it is. Might be a bass for all I know. <laughs> oh, that totally was a bass too. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Guess I wasn't quite far enough. That totally was a little tiny bass. So. Shrimp works for bass, apparently. So, shrimp works for bass, apparently. But, uh, so far no catfish. So maybe I'll check it out a little bit further this time. Actually, let's try. Oh, fish on, folks. I don't know what this is. Might be a cat. Oh, that was a lot faster that time. That was far out there too. What do we got here, folks? What do we got? Taking its time. Oh, that's a nice catfish. Finally, my first cat on camera from the Ottawa River. Oh, do you hear him? Oh, it's making a mess over here. There you go, folks. Oh, they're crazy. There you go, folks. First catfish from the Otter River for me. That's awesome. Let's get a picture of that. There you go, folks. Shrimp works for catfish as well. And bass, apparently, so. In the water, totally going the wrong direction. There he goes. Beautiful. That was like casting a little bit further out there that time. Casting a little bit further out there, it was like within a second, just bang, bang. That was awesome. Good little fight too, actually. Not quite as amazing as carp, but pretty good. All right, folks, that'll be it for me for today. Unfortunately, we only caught that one catfish uh, on the shrimp, but they do it does work, obviously. So we caught the catfish and we caught that one little bass and the other little bass on the shrimp. So the shrimp definitely works. It's just a bit, it's a, you gotta kind of gauge your expectations for what you're fishing for. Uh, so I was fishing for catfish, so I thought I'd catch maybe one or two, maybe. So I got one, which is good. And uh, for the smallmouth, I wasn't expecting them so much on the shrimp, but hey, it's always a, a positive. So anyways, my name is Ian Robson, Fishing Experiment. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more experimentation. Catch you guys later.